I'm up here on the roof. I actually have a lot to say. I'm going to make these short because these are notes for me. There are four Rosh Hashanah. The Rosh Hashanah of the years is on the first of Tishri, but the Rosh Hashanah of the tithing of animals is on the first of Elul. Now, why should there be a tithing of animals on the first of Elul? And it's the idea for me, because it'll start now, on the uh, Rosh, Hashon, Rosh, uh, Rosh Hodesh Elul, which is the 30th day of Av. And so that makes it 30 days to Rosh Hashanah. So this tithing of the animal may have something to do with the animal soul. Or even if not, it has to do with the zelem. Because the zelem comes or, or, or leaves 30 days before you die. And in my estimation, if it, comes, if it leaves 30 days before you die, it also comes 30 days before you're born. So this zelem, or some relation to the animal soul comes on the first day of Elul. And it's a, a, a ruach for 30 days because 30 days is the, is the general time for a ruach. Remember, these are all notes here. And so this ruach comes before... Some other aspect of a soul, maybe, maybe a nefesh, maybe a neshama, maybe a whatever on Rosh Hashanah. But there's some relation to the animal soul on um, uh, first of uh, Elul, and it's brought down the Mishnah about by Rabbi, Rabbi Shimon. I think it's on the 7A or 7B of Rosh Hashanah. Rabbi Sh- Rav Shimon is my brother. <laughs> and it's brought down that Rosh Hashanah isn't, I mean, uh, uh, Elul, the first of Elul isn't the Rosh Hashanah. Well, of course it's not a Rosh Hashanah because the real Rosh Hashanah of the body of the creation of man takes place on Rosh Hashanah, uh, 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 first of Tishri. So the man was created on the first of Tishri. So there must be something that was, that was, that was developed on 30 days before. And for me, just like 30 days before you die, the, the zelem leaves, or 30 days before the man was born, the zelem is formed. And this is what the whole idea of the first of, uh, of uh, Elul is about. And it, it says in the Mishnah, in, in the, in the uh, Gemara, about that it has to do with the animals and it has to do with the corn. In other words, it has to do with the, either the animals or the vegetation. And remember that the king is in the field for these 30 days. And of course the king's in the field. That's where the animals are and the grass, eating grass and corn planted in the ground. So for these 30 days, this is the natural development of the, of the land, you see where man really comes out of the dust of the ground. So when the king is in the field, when when you're in the field, that's how you've come close to Hashem. And it's brought down that way. So these 30 days are the real integration of the self with with. Kodesh Boruch. And in a certain sense, man was created on the first of Elul. 
as his animal soul. So this is... Uh, but these are just notes. Because we're going to go from there.